Hello, my friend. I am so glad that you decided to join me today because, well, we gotta, we gotta go on kind of a mission here. I saw something strange and peculiar outside and it was rather dangerous. Hmm. And so I decided to draw it. <laughs> so my friends, today in this epic drawing tutorial, we shall be drawing the most dangerous, dangerous dragonfly. Dangerous dragonfly. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome. We are going to be drawing a dangerous dragonfly. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes, a dangerous one. All right. Let's begin with dragonfly's eyebrows. I know, right? Okay, one, almost like a curving check mark. And then on the other side, a slightly smaller one. So we're gonna create an angle or foreshorten the face there. Okay, we're gonna give it some dragonfly eyes. So they need to be somewhat circular. So one big circle on one side, one uh, smaller one on the other. It's a dragonfly, so it's going to be different eyes than people eyes. So we're going to draw curving rectangles on it for some shiny spots. On each side of the eye there. And then I like to color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those curving rectangles nice and white. And that will create a lovely bug eyeball effect. Okay, let's give it a mouth. So we're gonna start off from this eye in the left. Bring a line out, around and up. Back down and out. Curve it and up. Okay, from this left side, we're gonna bring a line over, around and connect. So now we got a really, really big head. It's gonna be super close in the front and then it's gonna be foreshortened so the rest of the body looks far away. Okay, let's draw the wings. So we're gonna have one, and make this one much smaller. Two wings on this side. One, and that one's peeking out, or peeking in behind the head here. Two wings on this side. Remember, our second one is smaller. And then we're gonna do the body and it's gonna get smaller as it goes away from us to make this illusion by using size to make the illusion that it is farther from the viewer than the head's like super close. Okay, dangerous dragonfly has some dangerous looking eyebrow, I mean eyebrows, what is this called? <laughs> An antenna? Dangerous looking antenna. Oh my gosh, guys. There we go. And it's dangerous, so it has like these super sharp teeth. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Draw some like lines for the mouth. <laughs> Curve it around. There we go. Oh, you gotta have fun. Otherwise, what's the point? Right, you gotta have fun. You can't be too serious in life. Even if you are knowingly doing this weird weird stuff on the internet. Alright. There we go. Gotta have fun. Okay, okay, okay. 
Now, look how creepy it looks when you add those lines. See how it, that, adding that detail adds that expression, yo. Okay, lines up. Psh, 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 psh. The wings. Psh, 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 psh. Now, I'm a product of the 90s, sort of. Anyways, most of my life, my, my childhood was spent in the 90s, and if you, if you grew up in the 90s, sound effects were the things, guys. They were so cool. Just so cool. Anyways. All right, um, I don't wanna add legs. This is too much, okay? So if you are like me and you're like, you know what, legs are boring today, grab your favorite colors to get coloring with and you can pick whatever art making medium you want to color with and whatever colors you want and go ahead and color in your dangerous dragonfly, blah, blah, blah. Once you're done drawing and coloring your dangerous dragonfly, your dangerous dragonfly is done. 